Hello and welcome. My name is Charmaine Hewson. I'm an art therapist and artist. I run a private practice here in Calgary, Alberta called the Center of the Heart. And it's an honor and a privilege to be with you here this month on Heart Space, sharing one of um, art directive that is so near and dear to my heart and sustains me on a daily basis which is working with sacred geometry. And today we're going to be creating the flower of life and just noticing in the body what feelings, emotions, thoughts, sensations come up for you as you're creating. I'd also like to acknowledge my gratitude to the First Nations people of this territory, Treaty 7, which is the traditional Blackfoot territory, um, where the blood, Tsitsika, Bikani and Tsutina and Stony Nakoda nations um, first lived. So with that, I'd like to begin um, for this art activity. We are going to need not very many materials. Um, I invite you to have a pencil or a marker to use. I'll be using a marker so you can see it clearly on the page. Um, and although we can use a compass, I invite you to find a candle holder if you can. Um, and this kind of makes it a little more accessible to everybody. At the end of our creation, we will be able to maybe light the candle, make a wish, put an intention into the work that we're doing. So, and what also might be helpful for you as a ruler. So to start out with, I invite you to take your candle holder, placing it in the center of your page, and whatever feels like the center. So however that looks, nothing needs to be perfect. For those of you who have never done art therapy, what is really about and what's really important when we create is the process in creation. So it's not necessarily about self-mastery. You don't have to be an artist. Uh, it's just about expressing yourself and noticing the feelings and sensations that come up in the body as you're creating. So I invite you to begin by drawing a circle around the base of your candle holder. Be careful now too to keep the tip of the marker towards the edge of the base. So starting with a simple circle. As you create two, notice your breath, continuing to breathe, feeling your feet on the ground, just really allowing your parasympathetic nervous system to become engaged in the process. And so now we have our circle. What I do next is I like to find the center of the circle. So we begin by finding the point and notice here my circle let me do this with a pencil. My circle is two and three quarter inches. So I'm just going to mark a halfway point there, which is one and six sixteenths. Now, um, horizontally, I'm also going to mark what that center point is so I can find the center of the circle. There we go. These two intersect. Right there and where they intersect i'm going to put a dot so next is our second circle and for a moment though before we continue and proceed i just invite you to take a look at this dot in this circle around the dot when we're working with sacred geometry we're not just working with the beautiful images but with the pieces that create those images and so without a dot in the center, if we imagine our universe as having nothing in it, and it begins with that one point, we wouldn't be able to have anything if there wasn't that one point. So when we look at this circle, what I actually invite you to do now is taking your ruler and noticing when we have one point and create another point and trying to make this at the top of the circle as best you can. So without two points, we wouldn't have our circle. So just noticing that, noticing if any feelings come up. Next, I'm going to take my candle holder and I'm going to place it 
So it's just skimming the edge of that dot there. I'm going to try to align it as best I can directly on top of my first circle. And now the line I create is going to intersect that dot in the center. And we go, now we have two circles. This is some kind, sometimes uh, referred to as a Vesica Pisces. Now my next circle is going to connect the dot on top and the dot on the center. And what I do now with my candle holder is I just place it on top of the circles, allowing it to touch both of those dots. And now I invite you to create your circle around that. Noticing too, I see here that I actually missed the dot a little bit. So just noticing if any feelings come up for you, if what your intention was didn't transpire onto the page. And that's okay. We're not here to make master images. We're just here to experience the process. And so what I invite you to do is every time, we're going to be going around this circle in the middle. Now, every time, the circles that we're creating on the outside, which will be six, intersect this line of the circle, putting another dot. And I have one here. And so, we will next move to is these two dots. I'm going to connect them. Now I have two dots here. I'm going to put a dot there. And the next petal, just lining up your candle holder with each of the dots, trying to see if you can look at it directly above. Make sure they're lined up. Continuing around. Have a lot of new intersections. We're going to put a new dot. And these two dots now are going to become connected. Another circle. Sometimes it can get confusing, all these circles. Where do we go? Where do we start? Where do we stop? I invite you to bring it back into the center circle. We are creating circles around this center circle. And just continuing to breathe relaxing into this process. So my next circle is going to connect three dots here. One up top, the one in the middle, and the one on the edge here. So placing the candle holder on top. Right. And now what we have it's called the seed of life. So and this is an image that we find in, um, it's kind of the beginning of many different creations. So uh, this, um, the mathematical structure of this image uh, can actually create from this so many more and new uh, and creative images. But for now and today, we're not going to be getting into that. We're going to be focusing on the flower of life and how that makes us feel. So next, I invite you to, um, with more circles, what we're going to do is follow this inner circle. And all these dots on the edge where we had intersections with the lines, we are going to place our candle on the outside edge, connecting those two dots. Trying to keep your pen as close to your candle holder as possible. I'm going to continue following along that inner circle, creating circles all around it now. But 
Before I go on, I would just like to note other intersections that are happening here. So this circle here, this circle, these two that we've created, begin creating new intersections. And so what I invite you to do as we continue around this main circle is now I have three dots that I'm able to line my uh, candle holder with. So you can kind of see that there. And three dots. And we're just going around this main circle right now. Again, it can get so confusing as we create all these circles. So I invite you to come back to the main circle that you created. And again, focusing on these outer petals that we're making along the edge of our main circle. Again, I have another intersection right here. So I'm gonna connect this dot, that dot, that dot. interesting what we're creating now is actually another image which is referred to as the fruit of life there's two more and i'll show you an example of that in more of a 3d um, look in a second see it can get so confusing so i come back into that center circle i want a petal along all the edges of that circle. I'm missing one petal I see here. Let's see if I can have another dot there just to help me keep in alignment. Just noticing if any feelings are coming up for you, any thoughts and memories as we continue to create. So as we see here now, we have what is called the fruit of life. Uh, and I'll show you an example of this. Let me know if this brings up any memories or thoughts. This is the fruit of life in three dimensional form. What's interesting about this image is that it replicates or it's, it looks very much like our cells when uh, the division of cells when we're forming in the womb. So they say that sacred geometry, and especially this image, the fruit of life, is kind of the beginning of all life. And next, we will move on to creating the 19 circles that make up the flower of life. As I look at this image, I'm going to be focusing on these six circles that surround my one circle in the middle. And what I see is they're missing petals. And so I'm going to go around the circle again creating dots on all the intersections. I'm now going to place my candle holder on top of this first circle here to create the rest of the petals. And as you can see, I have three dots that I can line that up with. Noticing if you're holding your breath, it often happens when we begin creating, we're focused. One thing I really enjoy about sacred geometry is in creating sacred geometry is that it really integrates the left and right hemisphere of the brain, which art in general does, but because we're thinking on so many different levels as we're being creative, there's something really special I feel that happens with our neurotransmitters in the brain becoming rerouted, really helping to regulate our emotions, helping to release neurochemicals in the body, help bring a feeling of happiness like serotonin and dopamine. All of that is happening right now in the brain as we are creating. Notice too, as you're creating, there may have been a circle that was a little off. What we'll notice is when it's off from the beginning, the entire circle is just a little shifted. Just breathe into that, knowing that that's okay. Sometimes that's how life goes. 
right? And so what we're doing is making the best out of it. So here I noticed that one of my petals is a little off on this area. I am going to split the difference, placing my candle holder as best I can in between all of them. So there's this bit of reparation that's happening as I'm creating an acceptance. I want it to be beautiful. I want it to be perfect. What I'm noticing is I'm finding perfection in the mistakes too. That's what makes us human. One more circle up here to finish. So there we go. Now I have my flower of life. What I invite you to do, if that feels something that you'd like to do, is uh, continue now. You can continue adding the petals to all of the other uh, circles. We will not create any more circles. So stopping at this outer edge here of these circles that we've created. And again, noticing where your points are, and we're just connecting points. So this is an exercise about connection, about feeling. Just notice. So here we go. I'm going to come around. I am stopping my circle at that outer edge. So I'm not continuing along the edge there. And just finishing all these petals within the circles I already have. And noticing any feelings. This can bring up so much frustration sometimes, especially when we get to these outer edges. Maybe the circles don't match, but you know what? It's going to be okay. Because we're going to be coloring it in. It's always an opportunity to make things beautiful with color. Ooh, look at this circle. I actually have four points I can choose from. So really trying to align that and if it doesn't align, splitting the difference, finding a way to make it work. And here we go. Here we are with our circles now uh, and our flower of life. Now, traditionally, the flower of life also has one large circle around it and then another one around that, protecting, containing, and holding. So if that feels like something you'd like to do, I invite you to. That's sometimes best done with the, the um, compass or with the compass, yes. And so if that's your choice, then just putting that center point there in the middle and going to the outermost edge of one of the petals and moving around, just like so. Moving that out just a little bit. 
And just like we need containment and boundaries, it's also represented in our creation here of the flower of life. So we invite you to just take a moment, take a breath, noticing what might be coming up for you, anything you may feel, noticing maybe different circles that may look different and maybe they're not perfect. Noticing the beauty within it still. Pulling your feet on the ground, your spine straight, really fully embodying this creation that you have made of sacred geometry. I say that we are beings of sacred geometry. Our very DNA is sacred geometry and everything about us is. So I feel as we create images like this, we're really embodying the magic of life. So I invite you next, however you feel, beginning to color your image. And so what I like to do is really relaxing into my body, noticing whatever materials are around me and choosing whatever in this moment is standing up for you. Could be watercolor pencils, regular pencils, paints, markers, crayons even. Just notice it. What would you like to use to color in your flower of life? And then noticing where would you like to start? As we're integrating the left and right hemisphere of the brain and working with something so magical um, and left brain as sacred geometry, we can move into our head very quickly and start thinking, how should I do this and move this? So I just invite you in this moment taking a deep breath and really focusing on your heart center right now. Your heart center, your solar plexus area, really connecting to that inner knowingness that you have and hold, that intuitive place and creating from that place instead of in your mind, noticing when you're moving up into your mind and then just bringing it back down with the breath to that intuitive place that lives within you. and just begin coloring. following whatever patterns or shapes or forms that feel right for you in the moment. I invite you to have fun with this. Notice what comes out for you and um, and notice if there's any kind of edges there that might feel a little sharp. Just breathe into those and allow an acceptance to take hold. I noticed here I forgot a circle, but I kind of like it. I'm just going to leave that one open and continue to color. Thank you. It's been a pleasure creating the Flower of Life with you today. Um, I invite you to, if you're interested in knowing more about me or working online, uh, using art therapy and sacred geometry more, you can reach me at centerofthehearttheheart.com. Good luck in your creations and have a wonderful, wonderful month.